What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today was the weekly reset and with this week's reset we got the return of Iron Banner. So we got all these banners flowing in the wind at the front of the tower notifying us that Iron Banner is among us and it's back for year two. And with this Iron Banner week we also got trials on Friday and the weekend and we also got a big update in patch 2.0.1. So I want to talk about some of the changes along with the addition of Iron Banner and uh, let's get into it. So first up we got Iron Banner Lord Saladin. He's back here in the tower in his usual spot and we got access to this back area once again. And here's Lord Saladin in, the, in front of the medallion. So here we go. Here's what his year 2 inventory looks like. Let's start off with his class item. So he's selling the cloak. I guess he's selling this for the class item for every character. I don't know. I'm on my hunter right now, and I didn't check on my other two characters. But here's the cloak. It has you can't even see the top of it. That's that's not good for uh, just taking a look at it. But basically, this is the wolf cloak, the one with the wolf face or head above your head, and it's pretty good. It has intellect discipline on it with hand cannon um, upgrade. Upgrade increases for hand cannon and shotguns. Also increased reputation from Crucible and pretty good, pretty good stuff. Unfortunately, all these come at 280. That's the only downfall, I feel like. Um, I feel like if it came at 290, that would have been a little bit better. Uh, but again, it seems like it keeps the trend of the uh, tower uh, attack power and defense power for all the gear that's sold here. And everything's at 280. So next up, he's selling boots. So he's probably selling boots for all the characters as well it has some pretty cool plates for the hunter one on your kneecaps and this one is discipline strength shotgun ammo and rocket launcher ammo as well as void double down and second win so uh, pretty decent not the greatest though I rather have uh, intellect strength maybe or intellect discipline for my hunter on these boots but uh, pretty sweet and then also he's selling the sidearm which is called iron wreath D and uh, pretty good stats on this sidearm, um, or perks I should say. And uh, this sidearm has a Zen Moment on it, which causes causing damage with this weapon increases stability. Also has Hot Swap, readying this weapon grants brief period of bonus accuracy. Always good because your sidearm is there to help you finish off some of those kills uh, that you might have damaged your enemy with with your primary weapon. It also has down the middle... Uh, snapshot, quick draw, and a reinforced barrel for more range and uh, reduced stability on that one. So pretty good. I like quick draw on it. I think reinforced barrel is also pretty viable for uh, the choices on this tree. Um, pretty decent looking sidearm. I'd say probably one of the best ones for Crucible at least in uh, the game right now that we can pick up. So if you want to try out this sidearm and you want to pick it up, you can get it at rank 4. Be aware that all of these will cost you legendary marks now and not glimmer. So that's one thing to note when you want to manage what you want to buy for all three of your characters as well. And then um, also the cloak comes in at rank 3. The boots and the sidearm come in at rank 4. And the last weapon which is the post rifle, Nurin's Mercy, comes in at rank 5. This one has outlaw on it for precision kills will dramatically increase your reload speed. And third eye, which allows you to keep your radar while aiming down sights. Down the middle, we got perfect balance injection mold. And a brace frame for more stability and reduced magazine size. Also pretty solid pulse rifle in my opinion. Uh, third eye is always good for crucible. Outlaw is really good if you get those precision kills. And perfect balance can be helpful. Even brace frame uh, for just keeping that stability. It doesn't have max impact though, but still looks like a pretty solid pulse rifle if you want to try it out as well. And then going down to the emblems, we got the two year two new year two iron banner emblems, Iron Pride and the Ironwood Tree, which looks like the old one except it's a different color. So I kind of like this Iron Pride one better because it's a lot different from the year one versions. We also got the same two shaders from year one. Uh, they can buy a rank 2, million, million, and gold spiral at rank 5. So this one is rank 1, Iron Pride, and the last one's at rank 5. And then we also got some bounties available uh, from Lord Saladin. So it's a little bit different from year 1. 
I believe these ones that are in the goldish, yellowish color, I guess, is a weekly bounty. So this one's Iron Gauntlet. And they reward a 525 uh, Iron Banner standing as well as 25 Legendary Marks as well as 5,000 5, experience. So it's going to take you a little bit longer to complete these, but they are more rewarding than the regular daily ones. So this one is Iron Gauntlet, and this one requires you to get a 10 kill streak, get 5 double kills, get the top overall score, and also reach rank 4 in Iron Banner. So these are a little bit more difficult. They're not as easy as some of the daily ones which is why they are more rewarding than those uh, we also got for this one iron marathon which is complete 13 matches in iron banner and win seven of them so that one is going to take you a lot longer as well because you got to play all of those matches and then uh, we also got iron versatility which is defeat 50 guardians with primary weapons 25 with special weapons and 13 with heavy weapons so going to take you a little bit longer to get those 50 kills over the course of a few games and uh, you can obviously work on all of these at the same time to help speed up the process but they will take you a lot longer than your regular daily ones so these are the regular daily ones like usual I'm guessing they're going to rotate on every day every reset and then so we got defeat 20 opposing guardians in iron banner pretty easy uh, we also got uh, familiar iron defeat 13 opposing guardians with primary weapons pretty easy as well and we also got Iron Hued, win an Iron Banner match with, an, with any Iron Banner emblem or shader equipped. So uh, you can even use your year one ones, year one ones, or year one we um, emblems or shaders. I, I can't speak right now, apparently. And yeah, so these are going to change, hopefully. And we get some new ones every day. And these ones you can work on over the course of the week. So that's really good. Can't wait to grind some Iron Banner once again. The power level does matter, so keep that in mind for all you new players. Uh, your light level and stuff will matter this time around when you're playing Crucible. So make sure you bring your best guns, your highest light stuff, and your best armor. And be able to compete with everyone and rank up for Iron Banner. And also get ready for Trials, which is another competitive game mode that um, you'll need to have your power level matter so next up right here we got Tess Tess is back she has the new logo in the background she also has the uniform and her her just desk and everything looks redesigned refurbished and ready to go so here's what it looks like um, actually this is the first time I'm opening it up and I didn't buy any silver yet so I'm assuming that you get 400 automatically um, right when this patch goes live and we got 18 new emotes, so we got this enthusiastic dance, which is the one I want, because it's, who doesn't want the Carlton? And then uh, we got the slow clap, which is also 500, so these two are 500, these seem like, I, I when I looked at the preview for them, these two seem like the ones I wanted the most, but apparently I'm going to have to buy to get these, so I'll probably do that later. Uh, we got pumped up, I'm not going to go through all of these, but... Some pretty cool ones. Um, we got Come At Me, stuff like that. And it looks like some of these cost 200 Actually, all of these seem to cost 200 All the blue ones seem to cost 200 And uh, the purple ones seem to cost 500 So a little bit more expensive. But uh, if you want to just buy the free ones, you can buy two of these blue ones for free. I'm guessing because I got 400 for free. Or you can buy more and also buy anything you want and buy all of them and be cool. And have fun doing all these emotes in various activities and stuff. So yeah, so that's really good. We got that. Uh, we also got a nerf to the Black Hammer, which I'll show you now. Um, so this Black Hammer is one that I picked up out of the, out of the uh, kiosk, the Exotic Blueprint kiosk. And it was originally at 300, now it dropped down to 280. So I'm assuming all black spindles, I said black hammer, didn't I? So all black spindles will be at 20, 20 attack power less than what it was. I don't know if this worked on spindles that you infused. Like for example, say you took a 300 spindle out of the kiosk and then infused it with something to bring it up higher than 300. I don't know what happened to those because I didn't do that. I was I, I wanted to be safe with it just in case they just hit all of them. Uh, so they minus 20 attack from all the spindles. 
uh, based on what it seems. So if you have the 310 one, or you had the 310 one, it went down to 290, I assume. So, um, yeah. So that's one thing. We also got shop package. Not in the game anymore, which is uh, pretty good if you don't like shotguns and crucible. Um, so rangefinder probably is one of your best perks you're looking at for crucible now. And then uh, one last thing we got also is that, I'll just look at this one. Or not that one, it's, it's on armor pieces, my bad. So... We have this new uh, Twist Fate um, icon on all of the exotic armor pieces. And basically this is like re-rolling once again. So it's like reforging. Changes the stats and upgrades available on this armor piece. And it requires 250 glimmer, 10 armor materials, and a glass needle. Which I believe Zur is going to be selling from now on when he comes on the weekend. So uh, basically you can change all these stats. You can change what your actual like intellect discipline and strength is for that particular armor piece uh so you can also change these everything all the ammo upgrades and uh the defense stuff and it's gonna be good if you if you get bad rolls on some of your pieces and you want to re-roll it i'm assuming it will reset your progress on um your armor piece if you re-roll it using that twist fate thing um so be that or be aware of that so yeah so that's about it for this, I believe. Go ahead and rank up an Iron Banner. I'm pretty excited to play some Iron Banner and get ready for trials and stuff for the weekend. And yeah, it's going to be a really good week. Pretty exciting stuff. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are excited about for this week and with the patch update. Let me know what emotes you guys are going to pick up. And uh, that's about it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!